Hi folks, this is Rev the Hound Coach at Hunterson Farms. So, a week ago, well it's actually 10 days ago, Moose, Finley, Buck, Nyla, Bellatrex, Ruby, Betsy, Malin, Lola, and Minnie, like my beautiful wife here, went home. I promise you I put out a video I haven't been feeling too well, so we're going to try to do the best we can. We have King David down here to help us along. So on Facebook, you have the Rhodesian Ridgebacks at Hunters and Farms. And then we have uh, Hunters and Farms Rhodesian Ridgebacks on YouTube. You can subscribe below and put on notifications because we're going to start putting out these videos on a regular basis along with the, with the doctor. Back to the zoo from the Family Animal Hospital of Friendswood and the zoo's rescue. So let's start off. We brought our puppy home. Is everybody having a good time? How are my babies? We all want to know. So this particular video is, is, is going to be directed towards you guys. So last week, you came out here to Angleton, Texas. You get county seat of Brazoria County and we spent approximately two hours with everyone going over techniques and training and relationship building with your puppy. Now, 1% of the breeders in the world do the neonatal care that Minnie and I do with these puppies. Now we're just gonna explain what this means. This means these puppies were touched from the time we broke the sack open. We don't let our mamas eat a bunch of placenta. Makes them sick, gives them diarrhea, causes problems for the puppies when they're nursing. So we had let them have a placenta or two, that's it. So when these trainers and everybody are talking about neonatal care, you very few of them. There's a couple of doctors, I think, that that do this it's uh one of the most important things i might hold that another way many here wrapped around the pole there it's not gonna work for you uh, I mean, many of the of, of, of the trainers don't go over the importance of the neonatal care this is the eight weeks that we have possession of your puppies so we are handling these puppies from the time they come out we break open the sack, we clean them, we dry them, we pull all of the uh, stuff out of their nose, for lack of better terms, and the mucus, and we extract everything from their lungs. And you can see this on Rhodesian Ridgebacks at Hunters and Farms on Facebook for years. Nothing's changed. The same routine that we do. And then from that point on, we are constantly handling the puppies. Then we wean them early. And that means separating the, the mom from nursing and start putting them on food. And if you go back and you watch the videos, you'll see Pastor Midian making big productions out of everything. Everything is fun. Training is fun. One thing you have to understand, you have your puppy home now for 10 days, kind of left y'all alone with the video, and I've been under the weather. But that's a good thing. Now you've established your bond with your puppy. So let's go over a few things. Our neonatal care, as you noticed on the video, you at home with your new puppy. You notice that when you came and you picked up your puppy, sat in your lap, you didn't want to get out of your lap. Trying to get away, he wasn't scared. That's from the neonatal care. Then we crate train them. Then we potty train them. Then at approximately four weeks, you gave them, gave us a name. You put them on this board over here that was in the walking room, one of the walking rooms, and we started calling them by name. Or I should say, my dear wife, more than me. And she would put them on a little laundry basket and drive them around like a car 
and do all the things that you're going to be doing in the future. We ran generators in the garage. We had a dryer in the room so the puppies at this neonatal state could be prepared for all of these things in the future. Now, let me ask you a question. How are we doing on our crate training? I know you want to have the puppy out all the time. And you want you want to be touching the puppy and, 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 and examining the puppy and looking at its ears, looking at its gum line and feeling it all over, playing with its paws. Very important to play with the Rhodesia Ridgeback's paws because in the future you're going to be trying to cut these bear claws. And if they're not used to you handling these nails and these hands, they're not going to let you cut them. We have seen people wind up at, at Dr. Zoo's with having to lightly sedate the dog just to cut the nails. So we can avoid all these things right here and now. We can do a video later, perhaps we will, a short one of what we call the examination. That's where we take King David or the others and we tell him examination. He hops on the lazy boy and puts his little paws and this is fun. This is a fun thing he's going to do. There's not a lot of treats involved here. There's enthusiasm. Now, the, the, the treat training is good, but for a Rhodesia Ridgeback, it could backfire on you. You want to leave it at a minimum. Or it's a non-negotiable deal later. You either have a treat or I'm not going to do what you want to do. So to take them off the treat or a clicker or whatever, it might become complicated. You might not get the best results you want. But we will use reward training and we'll, we'll start now. So you built up this bond with your puppy. I've seen your videos and your pictures. Thank you very much. Send as many as, as you can to Manova Schwartz and we'll post them on the page. We love to see the pups. And it's a nice thing for y'all to do. We appreciate it very much. So the crate training is, is going on for three months, for the next three months. This puppy needs to eat its meals, play, walk, and throw. Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, David, turn around, boy. Come on. Come on. Sorry. So, I told everybody when you were out here, you had two meals a day. We have to study the, the Rhodesian Ridgeback's body language. One of the meals, your puppy is perhaps very attentive. The other meal is very playful. So, during this time, when the, you discovered that, oh, in the morning it's playful, and in the evening it's tentative, then we will go on adventures with the puppy, and we'll, we'll let the puppy go smell and sniff and do everything else. There, on, the, on the meal that it's tentative, we might do a little puppy training. Go real easy on it, if it's just a puppy. We want to build a relationship with our puppy now. Now, if we're crate training properly, that means it's in the crate most of the time, except when it's playtime and chow time. And the minute it wakes up, any type of disturbances going on, the phone's ringing, the TV's turned on, somebody knocks on the door, anything happens, don't answer the phone, don't answer the door, answer the puppy. Get the puppy outside immediately. The potty training will be over with in no time at all. We have hundreds of references to that. And you're, you're welcome to cross-comment with anybody that has got a puppy from Hunters and Farms. They've had no problems if they listen. If you don't listen, then get on the internet and buy a $500 course on how to potty train your dog or make it sit. It, it's up to you. These, This is free. We're not charging you anything for that. We're not selling you anything. The same way we breed for the love of the breed, I'm putting out these videos for the love of the breed. And I, I want you to enjoy them 
This is puppy training, mateys. Now we're in our second week. Into it pretty good. I want you to bring at least 20 people over. During the daytime, nighttime, whenever you feel because you've been reading the puppy, is, is, is a good time for the puppy. And have them socialize with these people inside the house. You could go into the backyard if you want. I, I, I don't recommend that you take the dog out on the street till the second the stepper shot. I've looked at some of the trainers and they talk about doing this at 10 weeks old. You could be compromising the immune system and the health of the dog. We're having 100 people over the first <laughs> week. 10, 20 people, great. And what you want to do is introduce them to them and, and, and get them used to them. But first, for you that have family members, what we want to do is we want to sit on the couch with the puppy on the ground and our children sitting 10 feet away we could have mom the daughter and the son and you're holding the puppy and each and every one of them has a treat so first mom goes Minnie come 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 on Minnie come on Minnie and Minnie comes now the Rex comes, Moose comes, Finley comes, Buck comes, whoever. And and if you've got him sitting, then you say, sit, Minnie, sit. And then give him the treat. And then you in return, go, Minnie, come. And you got your hand out with the treat. Minnie, come. Minnie comes back to dad. Now the daughter says, Minnie, come, Minnie, come. And they're all excited. Come on, Minnie, make this fun now. It's got to be fun. If it's not working, stop it that night. Try it another day. Be sure everybody's separated about five feet apart. So we got three, four people. They're 10 feet away from us. We're here. They're there. And each and every one of them is calling the puppy over and having it sit and giving it a little treat. And then... They're, they're touching it and playing it like they right here. See what I do? Okay? So, this is a puppy that's been handled very well. There's not a place on his body we can't touch. Can we do an examination? We look in the ears. We smell ears. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. You look at his gums. Good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, yeah. Normally, we do this somewhere else. We look at his feet. We look under the groin, is everything's important here? Is he got any skin problems? We look at his back feet. We go down the back. We be sure everything's okay with the glands. And he's just loving it. We do this in a chair in another place, but he actually can go to Dr. Zeus and I can tell him examination. And he will hop on the chair with his front feet and his back feet on another chair. And she can actually examine his rear end by penetration and not move, not say a word. Because he's been pre-trained for this. So it's a, it's a good thing. So let's get into the socialization and the calling the puppy back to you every time it goes to one of the people that it's coming. It gets the treat. So, these two are getting ready to breathe soon. A little romance in the air. We have another one over there cycling right now. We're going to see what's happening there. So, there's a lot of activities <laughs> in the background. Hey, hey, hey. That's our show, buddy. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and I, I hope you get something out of this video. So what are we focusing on? Great training. Paying attention. When there's movement and the puppy wakes up to get it outside immediately for the potty training. And socialization. 
Be sure everything is fun and enjoyable. Remember what I told you? We're dealing with the multifaceted breed. A multifaceted breed. It comes from many different types of breeds. So we want to pay attention to which type of breed this puppy favors. Okay, Mr. Romance. So if it favors the bloodhound or favors the massive or favors the greyhound or favors the Irish Terrier, then that's probably the direction you're going to want to get focused into. But we'll get into that later. We're not going to get all complicated and, and technical about everything. We're going to make this easy and fun. Now, another thing I want you to do before I sign off here is put the puppy in the crate and leave the room. You can watch from another place or uh, you got a window somewhere where you could look and see and give him me time. Very important, people give your puppy me time in the backyard, watch from the window, let it go play by itself and have lots of me time. Or you're gonna have separation anxiety like they're having all over the world with dogs. Everybody was locked down because of this COVID thing. And what did they do? They went out and got a puppy. And they spent so much time with this puppy. Now there's separation anxiety is all over the place. Y'all want to be in the show? Okay. They're having fun here. The Rhodesia Ridgeback thing. This is a mating thing. This, this is uh, David romancing his little girl there. So, you want to be sure about this me time. Please, give your dog privacy time. Give it privacy time in that crate. Get it to love its crate. I don't know other people around the world, but watching, you want the crate to be an enjoyable experience. And you want the crate to be a me time experience. Or you're going to end up going out of your mind, spending money, God forbid giving up the dog to a shelter, because now you're going to work. You're not at home anymore. The, the job working from home is over with. And the dog is going crazy because it's not being you, let, used to be left alone. Number two, let's start taking them on little rides. We start with the two minute ride every day for three days. We extend that for five minutes for three days. And then we try 10 minutes. Now, if that's too long and the puppy perhaps vomits, then just back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Go back to the two minute thing. Then go to the corner store. Take everything a little baby steps and I think you'll have a wonderful experience. We're gonna make these videos very simple for you because it's not that complicated. You have to build confidence, like I taught you when you came out here. Build confidence in that dog that no matter what happens, mommy and daddy are there for that. And hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll be a little better and not on so much medication and communicate better with everybody. You're welcome to call me, uh, text me with any situation you might have. But if you do have a situation, if you listen to what I'm talking, about and you gladly answer questions we'll get rid of that situation the puppy is only nine and a half weeks old and I'm gonna do some videos in the future that explain to you that we start training the puppies in the neonatal state in the, when they're here at eight weeks and then you start training the puppy and you'll be training the puppy until the end of that puppy's life even as a 10, 12 year old Rhodesian Ridgeback, you should still be exercising him and training him. And I will show you later in some videos how to teach an old dog new tricks. There's a big myth out there that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I think it applies more to humans than it does dogs. So we're, we're, we're gonna try to teach the humans how to work with your dogs, train your dogs, in a fashion that is fun for them and fun for you.
but it doesn't necessarily work that that way with a lot of people and that's where they get crossed up they get these videos these seminars and everything else they spend five hundred thousand dollars and their dog's not trained properly because the missing ingredient fun you got to be sure that puppy wants to do what you're doing it's just the baby. You don't bring a baby home from the hospital and start training it to sit and down and jump and everything else. You build a human bond with your child. So let's build our human bond. Let's do our crate training. Let's go for little rides. Let's do our socialization. Have any questions, call me, text me, whatever. God bless. You. And we'll see you on the next video from Hunters and Farms.com.